in the world I was destined for, not the one that I was able to get to in this, I hear the college educates in this college farce use the term outlayers or outliers. Highborn knows about these things in the HBO for the HOM for somebody who just wants to get home. There's an interesting part in the West world. They use several references, some pertain, some do not. As I stand now, um, it says that there are outliers and they're sent to destroy them because they're sent to destroy the world. Well, here is the question. In this particular scenario, where I am, with the lighting as high as it is, it's radiological. It's radio logic in frequency. It is at a level that causes radiation poisoning. It causes the cells to pop in apoptosis and it causes anemia just for being present on the field. The third episode of Westworld season three was absence of field. Fourth episode, I don't even know what they have a title. They have a title. The Mother of Exiles. There's a few key out pieces. There's a particular pawn in this whatever. Looks like someone I met in the field called Ian. That's when Nicklaus was there. That's when, who gave me this certificate. Found my phone number and I don't even know. I'm like, I didn't sign up for something. But yet I was being honored. I'm like, are you sure it's not? And I even said to Nicklaus in front of Ian, I'm like, are you sure it's not a scam? Like, I, I don't know how this works. I mean, I didn't sign up. I mean, you arrived and I mean, whatever. So at Highborn, who is trying to be a disruptor and an outlier that is actually what the humans consider heaven sent as some savoir, some savior that they can see? It would be the one who knows the radiological toxic events that are going on. There's a sign and a symbol in the area that I'm in at the moment. It says fallout shelter. Building a God is not easy. There were people, outliers, who you couldn't predict or control. And as long as they are a part of us, there is no... Now in swarm and hive technology, if the non-highborn, if the second and third class citizens start some tachycardic wave theory and start to cause the species on the planet that are unlike the rest, perhaps an RH negative ABO, and they cause them bradycardia in a flat line in this outlier, even though highborn blood for hound to get to kindred. But yet, second, third chairs or whatever start up some wave like motion in a tachycardic tactical advantage type thing. 
to support the wrong highborns. It causes some concern when as an RH negative, I know I'm desirable. I also know I'm a rare commodity. I know I have important relatives somewhere. I just don't know what they're named or how to find them. Is the future for us? Somewhere in this group is an agitator who will destroy the world. I can't let that happen. It's time ever. You mean the agitator that's trying to destroy the li being stuck and poisoned in a radiological environment? Is that what you're saying? Because that within itself, that argument brings in a whole set of laws in the natural and the unnatural, between the seen and the unforeseen. Everyone woke up. what she's asking you to do. Now, in this particular episode, there, that even though the hair color's off, and just like myself, the machine has moved and the girth has shifted in BMI um, within this EKG that I call bradycardic because I flatline between two peaks and not in like a mineral ice kind of a way. Um, this particular episode on Mother of Exiles, um, I was asked to attend a gala put on by a Canadian company um, in Washington, D.C., no less, Maryland, state of Maryland or Virginia, whatever it was. And I did show up, except for my purpose. I had the makeup artist and hair artist. I put a flower in my hair, very Colby Calais and Michael Buble. Um... I was not at the weight class that I was happy with, but I went anyway. Uh, and I wore a black and white dress and I went motif like 1930s, 40s, um, as far as makeup and hairstyle goes, just to distinguish the difference between the rest. So uh, that happened. I see that here. Then there's a dress I also wore at a application I found when I was at my, what, like within my happy weight range. There was a, a millionaire matchmaker. And I thought, oh my gosh, but I'd have to go to Manhattan. So I did. I wore the same dress that I wore to the prom. And I got on a train at Ronkonkoma. I went into Manhattan. I waited. And the dress is now featured in a TV show with a Bernard conversation that went on, although I did not. But I gave in my photo. So modeling agencies, whatever that was. There was a TV show on TLC, I think it was, or... One of those Canadian stations, it was called Millionaire Matchmaker. I showed up. I was dressed appropriately. Makeup was appropriate. Except the interviewer, when they confirmed that I had children, they said that that was the disqualifier. That because I had children, no millionaire would want me. Right. They just keep on writing their own tickets. It's a real problem. 
Now here's something really frightening I've never been a part of. This conversation where the creator who knows about RH negative and how important and rare we are on the planet and our star woven importance and what's really going on. Um, the creator of all of these magic machines, whatever, that has made a fortune in drumming up all this radiological poisoning. So they have something to hide and they have skin in the game. For loyalty does come, I would assume, a high priority at doing the right thing. But then there's the treatment of those that are loyal. So I find it interesting when the second or third chair tries to turn on the creator who gave them the opportunity to sit in a second or third chair rather than being one of the walking around zombie-like or who purposely incorporated them into some tactical wave before they themselves realized just how strategically damaging to natural earth we were at. Get the fuck off of me! Don't hurt him, it's okay, I'm okay! It's not his fault, he's sick! I'm not sick, don't you understand? This isn't short of a hit. Don't you realize all of those great college educations you gave them with all those false promises and false words inside this English literature dictionary with all those books that mil many millionaires made fortunes off of? They're going to use those words to try to burn you. It's already happened to me. It's an imposter, a host. She's not real. None of this is real. You gave an ABO RH positive a book of words and a system to mentally hunt you down, chase you, and lock you up and turn against you. Are you all crazy? Oh, well, isn't that just convenient? Is this, I mean, this looks very Joe Biden and Kamala Harris at the moment. I'm just saying. I mean, it looks really frightening by how the area is surrounded. And I'm not really sure where loyalty is any longer. No! 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 God damn you! No! your time on and who do you grow in the garden to be successful and to what level and why would the majority of when there is a endangered species that have always been important because they're so few and far between 
why would the outliers being the RH positives that look like imposters of the RH negatives, why would they ever invest and allow an estate break in or a change in assets to such a large scale that then it becomes predatory investments and predatory lending and predatory a lot of things in order to have large swarming shifts in control within the larger section of the population. Ah, and the Ian look alike. Hey, Dolores. I like the new look. This was never your fight. You should have stayed out of it. And the top of that particular dress, mine was black and white in the actual gala. And there was no nudity whatsoever. I arrived with a respectable from my local area. And then I tried to stay as close to him as possible because I knew he would be safe. Er, then walking in alone. And then whatever. And then there's another scene in this same episode, Mother of Exiles, uh, where it's the millionaire dress, the millionaire matchmaker dress. Here's a conversation I must have missed between a couple of important whatever, whatever's that want to remain anonymous, but they're making some declaration inside of this about Dolores as the map for the human mind or the human consciousness, whatever words they choose. Um, and she has the key. So the powers that be already gave it to whatever they needed to give it to in order to set the stage, the platform, the precedence, and make some corrections as far as I'm concerned. Thank you. I know what it is to see a world disappear in the blink of an eye. And there's the radiological um, acknowledgement on the side of that truck. It exists now only in one. So, you forgive my loyalty to my kind? It's hard won. What is it that you want from Dolores? I've waited many years for you and Dolores and the others to arrive, but you're not really the threat I worry about. Humanity's biggest threat has always been itself. I've been trying to control that. So negotiate a way into the future. To do that, I need to understand humanity. So I created the most comprehensive picture of human behavior ever seen. And yet, it's still incomplete. Imagine my surprise when I discovered that someone had put together a more complete portrait, a map of the human mind, <laughs> created in a theme park of all places. And Dolores has the key to all of that data. So you want me to find Dolores? But what's in it for me? As I told you, <clears throat> I deal in futures. And that's what I'm offering you. A future? In your world? No, not here. <laughs> Sadly, there's no path to your kind of mind sharing a world, but... There is a world for you. The same world you sent your daughter to. That world 
is locked away from this one. No. There is a key. Your friend Dolores has the only copy. Hidden away in her mind. Which means that your interests and mine are one and the same. I'd like to show you something. And then you can return into your cage if you like. Divergence Arc in Victorville, USA. They made a note. And then I'll rewind it to where the cameo of the dress that I wore to the city. <laughs> Difference is my dress that I wore was down mid calf with a high uh, slit on it, but it had this empress type top to it and it did not have whatever this is and it had a swath of cloth that was um, separate from the rest of the dress that covered a, a portion of my back. Here she has a completely open this back. This is your house. So that your two worlds would be within reach of I wore that originally to Walt Whitman High School prom, not my own prom. In I went and observed and spent time with other schools. I didn't always stay within my own school um, for extracurricular activity. Um, based on wherever the, ever the fetter chained me and dragged me through while they kept Mark, Mike, whatever, whomever else, Nicholas. Nicholas should be the most important, but I know that he comes back every now and again, or he did, to remind me who he was while I just waited. It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Cataruza. It's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is Broken, and it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.